Hello, and thank you for joining me for the All Signs reading. This is a timeless reading, so whenever you come across this reading, it's the time for you to view it. We have dynamic and romantic love. Okay, they have to come all the way out. Or I don't read for them. Don't have my usual setup, so this little table will have to do. are okay with that if not you can click off right now just kidding don't click off haha <laughs> there see look I made a funny okay all signs messages for all signs Oh, wow, okay. There's a whole big uh, chunk there. Wow, okay, that's a lot. I don't know if I should take all those. I'm going to put these at the end, and then if I feel led to go through them, I will. But that's a lot, so I don't want, I'm reluctant to commit to that at this particular moment. <laughs> How long is this reading going to be? <laughs> okay, anyway. <clears throat> That's what it is, I guess. Okay, so we have a dynamic. It says the frequency of dynamic supports our ability to harmonize between layers and aspects of different origin and frequency. It helps us to put together a reality that is made up of many different elements, both familiar and completely new, with ease, grace, and great joy. I like that. We have number 39, romantic love. It says the frequency of romantic love supports our journey to feel whole and complete through the experience with and reflection of a conscious lover. We have number 21, Divine Feminine. The frequency of Divine Feminine supports our receptive, nurturing, and soft side, allowing it to express itself openly and helping us to connect to our intrinsic understanding of our connection to all of creation. It's beautiful imagery there. It reminds me of like <clears throat> a snowflake. We have number 30, integration. It says the frequency of integration supports our embrace of every aspect of ourselves, allowing what we perceive as positive and what we perceive as negative to harmonize in a balanced symphony of life. I like those uh, upward and downward pointing triangle symbolism on that card there. We have number 35, perception, which re which reminds me of like a saw or like the, um, we see the crescent moons there in this card as well. It says the frequency of perception supports our natural curiosity, moving us beyond our comfort zone to find the edges of what we perceive as real and take a good, hard, deep look at it. We have number 15, compassion. It's like the green green flower frequency of compassion supports our ability to stand by others without judgment and be the divine mediator between heaven and earth spirit and matter so that unconditional love can flow from source through our heart and into the world that's beautiful I like how it 
there's like at the very center there's like that white light or like that white energy like that everything flows from that place type thing of that white light we have go with the flow we see that she has dropped her oars and is just floating down the stream so don't try to control events of life and just kind of let it happen be sure to look up willow tree there'll be additional messages for you after the video we have sun and stars so this very much speaks to like the cyclical nature of life right day night and like the cycles of the days and the weeks and the months and the years and the seasons and also like death birth regeneration we see the cat there looking through the telescope so you may be into astronomy and noticing she's wearing a pearl necklace Pearls may be significant to you somehow. Also, she's in her hair is a rose that like symbolizes like the blooming of, you know, like of us coming to our full, um, you know, fruition of what we're meant to be in this life. We have plant the seeds. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> so, um, have a little like tickle in my throat there so we have plant the seeds so this we see this figure here in her garden with her cat physically planting seeds you may be a gardener or like to plant seeds in the spring or grow your own flowers um this these may be spiritual seeds like um money seeds like you may be investing saving money and like buying investments or Figuring out other ways to plant seeds. These might be creative endeavors or maybe you write books or make videos and, you know, produce pictures. We have cleansing body and spirit. We see this witch here is in the bathtub. So if you can, if you have the luxury of taking a bath during the day. Go ahead and do that. We see the sun coming in through the window. The sun is always a good sign. In any reading, it's Leo energy. It's like joy, happiness, creative, success, abundance, um, acceptance. We have make a move. So there may be something that you've been thinking about doing for a while. Spirit is encouraging you to go ahead and do that thing that has been on your mind, on your spirit. We have hibernation, regeneration. And we see these giant roots that she's sleeping in a cave here with her cat. You may have some large crystals or you may just feel very much like you just want to sleep and avoid everyone. And just nap with your cat. We have number eight, alchemy. This reminds me of gears, the symbolism, the frequency of alchemy activates our magical ability and re remembrance of the magic that we all hold inside. Each one of us has the potential to access the ancient knowledge that allowed the true alchemist to perform the miracles of transmutation. So I feel you're going to be doing that, transmuting negative energy into light energy. We have number 10, authority. It says the frequency of authority reminds us that true authority is powerful, directed, and realized, yet receptive, wise, and loving. So we have number 41, synergy. It says the frequency of synergy supports our allowance and acceptance of not-so-obvious, never-seen-before combinations and unions. That result in new ways of functioning, working, thinking, relating, loving, and being. It reminds us to embrace the unfamiliar. So that new yet exciting co-creations can give birth to a new reality. And we have air magic. So we see the falcon here has like flown in through this open window. You may be very a very talented writer. You may have this spiritual gift of uh, wordsmithing or you may write poetry or just be able to very much um, convince other people of your ideas who may be very persuasive 
he is like looking off into the distance so there may be something some goal that you have your eye on some intellectual goal you have your eye on in the distance there we see the falcon that's flown in so be sure to look up falcon there'll be additional messages for you there after the video we have affirmation for positive change we see this figure has completely changed her outfit she's taken off the, that dress and necklaces and she's like more wearing like a pirate outfit we see the cat there at the stern of the ship you may have a black cat or just a cat that goes along this part of the journey of life with you we see the pirate ship there off in the distance. So you may have your eye on some distant goal. You may be wanting to actually buy a sailboat or a small pleasure boat. Or that may have been something you wanted to buy for a while. Let me take the top card here. We've got learn from life. We see this witch here is like being guided by... We see this arm, so we assume it's like a teacher or spiritual guide. We see all the books, so, so you may have been really putting down the lessons, really um, taking the time to, you know, read up, research, learn your craft, so to speak. We have prayers and wishes. So we see the wishing well here. Traditionally, people would drop money into the wishing well and say a wish out loud or like in their head. So spirit reminding you to say what you want to happen out loud so that your subconscious hear it and so that your spirit guides hear it. We have affirmation for acceptance. We see she's holding the book titled Fate. There you might need to accept your fate. We see these black ravens or crows you may have noticed crows in your environment in the last two years that seem to follow you this could be like a sign from your spirit guides that you are on the right track and they are encouraging you to continue and keep the faith we have strength and resilience so we see these winds of change blowing around this witch here she's wearing an orange dress which pertains to like the second the sacral chakra so autumn, we see the autumn leaves that are blowing around in the wind. So autumn time may be a very significant time for you. Or there may be significant events that sort of blow these winds of change into your life in autumn. We have Accept Love. We see this witch here is brewing up this big batch of witch soup or witch stew. Here we see the repeated um, triangle symbolism in a uh, black cat. So this may be love from another person, a, a co-worker, a friend, a family member, or maybe just even a pet. Those are all valid sources of love. We have gratitude and thanks. We see our hands are open in this gesture of receiving more. So spirit reminding you to be thankful and grateful for what you've already been given. So that the spirit realms, the angels... Um, can give you more blessings we see butterflies in that card so speaking to a transformational energy of this gratitude that if you take the time to be grateful and thankful it will transform your life and more blessings will come into your life we have affirmation for growth we see she has the seedling planted here that she's caring for we see the cat there planting seeds as well in the background and also the symbolism of the broom so you may need to do some physical cleaning some psychological cleaning mental cleaning or getting rid of old you know beliefs value systems friendships that no longer serve your highest purpose we have follow your dreams we see the switch here getting to take getting ready to take flight out the window there we see a shooting star and also the crescent moon and this fire uh, magic here. So this 
these follow your dreams may be related to some sort of a creative project that is somehow spiritually significant to your growth. We have number 18, Cosmic Flower. The frequency of Cosmic Flower activates our remembrance of the place we call home, the core from which we pour our magnificence out into the world. And we have meditation for peace and serenity. We see this figure here is just floating peacefully in the water. So spirit reminding you to take time out of your day to meditate and you'll derive these benefits of peace and serenity. So those are your messages. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, be sure and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so very much for watching and you have a wonderful day.